There's no doubt that Tony, with the first, the first majority, which was huge, he could have done anything. But he didn't want to do anything. I mean, the thing about Tony, which people don't understand, they say he didn't stand for anything, he doesn't believe anything, but he did. Um, he, he believed sincerely and devoutly and passionately in the sort of society he wanted to create. But the society he wanted to create was not the society I want. Uh, Tony thought he had a duty to, I don't know, hard-working men who cleaned their motor cars on a Sunday and went to church and looked at, you know, you know what I mean, by the respectable working class. Uh, Tony couldn't conceive the idea of taking from the rich and giving to the poor. And the, the break with him and me, if you can call it that, was when he was on television and couldn't bring himself to say that he regretted that equality had widened, inequality had widened during the Labour government. And he didn't mind that, and that was a tragedy. Gordon Brown. Well, I expected great things of Gordon. They didn't materialise, but Gordon was in an impossible position. I mean, he got the fag end of the government. Uh, there was no way he was going to recover from that. Um, I advised him not to have an election straight away after he was elected. That was probably bad advice, but all the people who relied on advised him not to have an election. Had he had an election, within weeks of being becoming Prime Minister, he might well have won. But Gordon had it in him to be a good Prime Minister. He just didn't have the chance. I thought, I thought of Ed Miliband because he believed what I believed. I don't think Ed was responsible for losing. I think there's a more deep reason for that, particularly that Labour lost its way. We didn't what he stood for. But uh, I think Ed would have been a good leader and a good Prime Minister. I have no regrets about supporting him. I mean, the story I hear, I'm out of things, but the story I hear is they wanted to run a very left-wing candidate, as they always did. Uh, somebody done it four years before who didn't want to do it again, so they said, why don't Jeremy do it? Well, we, you know, they expected to get, temp get, expect to get 10 percent of the vote. So he's leader by chance, by mistake. Um, we need to redefine ourselves. Uh, some people say we need to lose the election to do that, but I don't believe that. I can't ever want to lose an election. I want it to win because of the things we have to do. But we need some people 30 years younger than me uh, to start putting their heads together and saying this is what Labour stands for. And the terrible dearth of that. And there will be until we know where we're going. I mean, I hope we win the election. believe we might, but don't think it's likely. But if we win, as I hope we do, um, then somebody's got to spend their time thinking, what are we winning for? What are we doing? Not just one or two things we, the Tories didn't do that we do. Not different from the Tories alone, but what we positively stand for.